In an earlier video, we saw that California had the most murders of any state. But does this mean it is the most dangerous state? What if it just has many, many more people than any other one? Using the tools we have learned, we can very quickly confirm that indeed California has the largest population. We simply type murders state and then ask which is the biggest state population-wise using code. And we see that it's California. In fact, we can see how many people it has by just looking at the maximum of the populations column. With over 37 million inhabitants, it might be unfair to compare California to other states. What we really should be computing is the murder per capita. Here, the powerful vector arithmetic capabilities of R come in handy. In R, arithmetic operations on vectors occur element-wise. What does this mean? For a quick example, suppose we have height in inches. We're going to add some heights to a height's object. Suppose you want to convert them to centimeters. Note what happens when we multiply the object heights by the value 2.54. We get back each element multiplied by 2.54. They've been converted to centimeters. Similarly, if for each of these measurements we want to compute how many inches taller or shorter than the average, we can subtract the average from every entry. Let's say the average is 69 inches. Then we write the following code. Heights minus 69 will give us, for each entry, how much bigger or smaller they are from 69. If we have two vectors of the same length, these operations are even more powerful. For example, if we have two vectors like this, they get added entry by entry. And the same holds for other mathematical operations such as multiplication, subtraction, and division. This implies that to compute the murder rate, murders for every 100,000 people, we can simply type murder rate, that's the object we're defining, is the total divided by the population multiplied by 100,000. So the total for each state is going to be divided by the population for each state, element-wise, one by one. And then at the end, we multiply those values by 100,000 to get it in the right units. Once we do this, we notice that California is no longer near the top of the list. We can use what we've learned to order the states by murder rate. Here I'm going to look at the states ordered by murder rate, in this case in decreasing order. And now we see that California is not even in the top 10. The highest murder rate is in the District of Columbia, the second one is in Louisiana, etc., and California is only the 14th.